Hi, and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh, and below is my web homepage in the slide where you can access details about me, can leave your very valuable feedback to me, as well you can visit Learn from Hitesh section over my website to reduce, reduce out some of the third party uh, prices that you can say. So let's start up our course and in this video we will focus on some new things that you can learn on the MySQL prompt. Of course all these things that you are going to learn in this video are going to help you in injecting the next lesson. So let's take a look and come back to our virtual machine instance. I have already got my virtual machine up and running and I expect you so far that you also have got the same things. So let us type out some of the commands like service apache to start so that I can start my web server. Also I need to start MySQL. Okay so in order to get into the MySQL prompt I need to type MySQL hyphen user that would be root and the password would be you can give a password by using hyphen p and if the password is two. So we are into the MySQL prompt. Now first of all I would like to use a database that we have specially created for this series that is use security. The database is being changed now. Now first of all I would like to show the all the tables that are being contained in this database. So that's what we can do by using the show tables command. Now let me show you a good thing that select what happens if I do a select star from users. Now if I run this command you can notice that all the tables which are there in my security database are being dumped out. Now you might have heard one of the very good feature about the Linux that sometimes you can redirect the output of any command into some file. Is that feature also available with the MySQL? Yes it is. So how to access that feature? So first of all we need to do select star from users and I can outro that output of this particular command into one file. So how to do that? We can use it an into command for it and I can simply do a out file and after that I have to give the name of this out file that would be let's say slash temp slash let's give it a name as sql.txt so that would be the particular command. So you might see that there is a message here query ok 13 rows affected. Now how can I verify that I have got it or not? So I'll open up a new command prompt. Let me make it a bit zoom and let me travel to this directory slash temp. Do a quick ls and I can see that the sql.txt file is here. Let me open that by using a cat command and you can see all the file is being dumped in the database. Uh, you can say simply the file of all the database is being dumped in a text file. Now what happens if I again run this command? Now you can see there is a simple error that says already exist. So that means I can conclude that this command can dump the database into the file but cannot overwrite the file instantly. So whenever you need to do that you need to have a separate file if you are interested in dumping out some other database. So that is really the part here. So that's this time we have got. Now what happen if I do something like that, if I change the directory somewhat like let's say etc, it again gives me error. So make sure that you also understand there is a certain limit of permission to MySQL on which it can dump out the file and can write into the file. So make sure you also understand this. Now let us move on to the one final command as well that is select load underscore file and if I give a path of some interesting and juicy info file like slash etc slash I hope you know this passwd file. So this is really an important file for a Linux architecture structure point of view and if I do a into out file and let's give us some common path that we have got permission to write into it slash temp let's say pass.txt so what happened after that? So we got an again an error and that is really really a big mistake that I have made just now. I forgot to write E. Now really that sometimes happens to me. 
I really don't know why the reason. So it says query okay, one row affected. So don't do typos like me. It's really, really an awkward situation sometime. So what I can find out if I do a ls here, that there is a file that says pass.txt and if I do a cat on this, you'll notice that all the juicy info, whatever is there in the passwd file is being dumped out in the database. Now using all these commands, we can actually break into any security and can do our SQL injection in the next lesson. So this next lesson is all about using these commands. So practice out all these commands and make sure you understand these commands and explore yourself as well. So that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching.